this now, Papa, as you are celebrating this uh, debt restructuring, consider this fact that, you know, this government is a dictator, is a dictator government. Some of us, we are out here. I'm out here nothing but because of the dictatorship of Haka in the It is not my will that I should be out here. It is because this government is a dictatorship. And that's why I'm here. If only Haka in the Ichidema was a democra de democratic leader, I would still be in my country and I would still be with my family. But Haka in the, the dictatorship of Haka in the Ichidema has made some of us to be running away so that here we can be talking. If I were in my country, I wouldn't have had this opportunity to talk. I am here because I'm scared of being arrested. There I can't talk. The only way I can live in Zambia and live okay with my family is when I stop talking. If I want to talk, I mean, then I shouldn't be. I shouldn't be with my family. I should be in jail. And that's why I have refused to be gagged. That's why I'm here. And uh, that's why I'm talking. Because some of you were saying, ah, you see your friends, you see the Nakaiza Zulu, they are not talking. Hey, Pamela Goldway, they are not talking. You, you are busy talking. Uh -uh. I'm not going to keep quiet. I didn't come here for holidays. Uh -uh. You have to get that into your heads. I didn't come here for holidays. I will continue talking and I will be talking every day except tomorrow because I'm going for, you know, an activity that I've been invited. So tomorrow I'm not talking. But the dictatorship of Haka in the HDMI is a big problem. So because of this, even now, let's now talk about this debt restructuring itself. This debt restructuring that you are that you are celebrating, I don't know what you are celebrating about. I have said it is good. You know when you have a date, and then somebody says no, na kupela po grace period, na kupela po grace period so much, and then you can repeat it in a longer period. That is good. That is good. But you see, when we are talking about national matters, it is not about haka in the Ichirema. It is about the entire country. So to start with, such issues must be very transparent, where we all understand. and I will open the phone lines. I want any of you who knows the details of the negotiations that has been going on. What are the details? What are the terms and conditions of this agreement? Because every agreement comes with terms and conditions. So what are the terms and conditions? We have been asking about this for a long time. And Waka in the HLM has not dared to share that. But this involves the nation, involves the Zambian people. You should have been told to say, these are the terms and conditions. This is what we are agreeing to. But you don't know. I'm going to open phone lines and I'm challenging anyone to call in and tell us if you know the details of this debt restructuring agreement that has been reached. Do you know the details? Do you know the details? And you see, they say the devil is in the details. The devil is in the details. It may come out very nicely outside, but number one, I am asking you, I am calling upon you especially you praise singers who are supporting this, I am calling upon you to say, can you stop for a moment and think, do I know the details? Do I know the details of this agreement? Do you know? Me, I don't know. Me, I don't know. What are the agreements? What are the agreements? What have they agreed? Of course, part of these agreements, we can, we can guess them. Part of these agreements are the agreements such as giving away the mines, giving away part of our national assets. These are part of the agreements. These are part of the agreement. Some of these things that you are seeing like Mopane, what you are seeing at KCM, what you are seeing at Kasenseri and whatever, whatever. These are some of the agreements. But to what extent we don't know? To what extent we don't know? So much as you are celebrating to say you are winning a debt restructuring of 3.5 billion, you might be losing much more. And by the way, it is not being forgiven. This is just, you know, an extension. 
of the time under which we have to pay. It is not a write-off. It is not a write-off. But we might be losing something much more. 3.5, what is 3.5 billion? What is 3.5 billion? If we are going to lose some of our, you know, big assets as a nation, what is 3.5? We would rather, I mean, if it is copper, we would rather dig that copper and, and pay off the debt. Then we give copper, we give, you know, these mines to people and they make much more. And at the end of the day, we still have to pay 3.5. The details, the details, my brothers and sisters. What are the details? What are the details? The next point is the issue of you are celebrating to say now, now we are going to have money. Now we are going to have money. How can the HM will come and tell you this? Oh, but instead of servicing the debt, now we are going to, to do this. Now we are going to do this. Now we are going to do this because we are not going to service the debt. My Zambai, my brothers and sisters, I want you to know that since UPND came into power, they have not been servicing the debt. They have not been servicing the debt. They haven't been servicing the debt. So, with these two and a half years, that they have done without servicing the debt. They would have done something. They would have done something. Because they haven't been servicing the debt. This debt that they have been negotiating, there was a, there was a, 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 you know, a freeze as they were discussing until they have reached an agreement. Now that they have reached an agreement, now they will have to start paying. According to the little that I've seen on the UPND blogs, on the UPND blogs, they are saying three years grace period and 20 years uh, repayment. So, if two and a half years they haven't been paid, they haven't done anything, how do you expect them that now they are going to do something in the next three years because they have a three years grace period? And that three years grace period, I don't know if it if it starts 2021 or it starts today, I don't know. But most likely it starts 2021. So maybe we are talking about 2021, 2022, uh, 2022, 2023. Maybe they, we might just have one year. But I'm sure, you know, this the years, these years that have passed are going to be considered. They have been considered as well. So where we are coming from they have not been paid but they haven't done anything so how do you expect that they are going to do whatever they are going to talk about because Waka and HLM is going to build mountains out of this but the question that I'm asking and I know you are listening by UPND I know so even as you are listening so that tomorrow even when you are arresting me you have this in your mind to say, what this man has been saying, is it truthful or not? You haven't been paid, but what have you done? What have you done to the civil servants? What have you done, you know, to our hospitals? What have you done to our whatever? What have you done that you can point at to say, this is what we have done? Because we were not servicing debt. And by the way, it is not just the, them not servicing the debt. It is not just that. Since the UPND came into power, they have increased the budget. You know, but PF, their budget was basically very low. Their budget was basically, uh, uh, I, I think they were talking about 120, you know, 120, less than. Yeah, the Kuma Nainte Chakuti, Eite Chakuti. As they were leaving, their budget was 120 billion. That was their that was their budget, the PF. Now, the, the PF So the UPND, when they came into power, they increased the budget to about 170 billion kwacha. You see? But PF, their budget was about 120. That was the highest. 2021, their budget was about 120 
120 billion in 2021. By UPND, immediately they came in, their budget was went to about 170 billion. Now, with the PF, all of us, unless whatever, whatever, now what a few and one can make a twish waffle. But all of us, we are able to see what PF used to do. We are able to see. Out of 120 billion kwacha, we are able to point at a number of infrastructure that were being done. We are able to point uh, to a number of things that were happening, including people having liquidity. In other words, people having money in the pockets. At least we had money in, in PF. But since these guys came in, they are not paying debts. They even increase the budget. What do they have to show for, for it? What do they have? They have nothing to show for it. They have nothing to show for it. Including, you also don't have money. They used to have money. The slave queens, they were building houses. They were buying expensive vehicles. They were traveling. There was money in the country. Now these people, they were not paying debt. They increased the budget. But there is no money in the economy. There is nothing that they can point at. They are not doing roads. They are not building. Nothing. They were even talking about this road in dollar dual carriageway. They were talking about dual, dollar dual carriageway. There was so much excitement about that road. It is quiet. It is quiet. It is quiet. Dollar dual carriageway. What is happening? What is happening? And then these people, apart from that, now I'm the thing to think of even in terms of, you know, a, 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 a fiscus. Now I'm the thing to think of I'm adding them. The first thing that I've spoken about is that they have not been paying debt. The number thing, the number two I've spoken about is that they increase the budget. Number three, these people, since they came into power, they were talking about PF borrowing, borrowing, borrowing. When the PF were leaving government, they left the debt at 13, about 13.5 billion dollars. That's what, that's where they left the, the debt. These people, since they came into power, they have borrowed over 5 billion within two and a half years. PF left a debt of 13.5 billion. And we could see what they did with that money. We can see the ring road. We can talk about uh, the, the other roads that have been done. We can talk about the bridges. We can talk about the schools. We can talk about the health facilities, which made Waka in the to employ those health workers and teachers because they built those schools. But for them on this side, two and a half years, they have borrowed five over five billion. Over five billion dollars they have borrowed. And I'm challenging Bam Sokotwane to come and give a statement, to give a statement to say, no, this is how much we have borrowed. I want them to come out and refute this figure. I want them to come out and refute this figure. They are borrowing. And you see, Awabantu Niwa Kerenka, Niwa Kerenka, Niwa Kawalala, they are crooks. You see, the PF, they were borrowing money on the financial market. Okay? Where we could all see. But these guys, the way they are borrowing the money, they are borrowing it in a very clever way. How are they doing it? They are releasing bonds at high interest. Okay? At high interest. And foreigners are coming to buy those bonds because Zambians don't have money. They are not bonds, I'm sure. I don't... Out of the people that I'm, that I'm talking to right now, I think it, is, it might be 0 0.2 who may even understand about the issues of bond and let alone to even invest in bonds. A country releases bonds. But that is a bond where you buy, basically in Congole, you know, you give money and then at 
more interest eh yeah? fila tuchita ichilimba eh ati ngamwalipira ama bond eh ati ngamwalipira ngamwampela 10 pin ngampela 15 pin pa fee pa mandent fila eh ngamwampela 10 pin ati umpela 10 pin ngampela 10 pin pa mandent ngisa kupela 15 pin ema bond but basically the ning kongole yeah. what it means ngamwampela the 10 pin chimone kwa ning kongole ero ina chita invest in business na pangira po okay then na pangira po na sampera at a interest but zambia has been releasing you know bonds with high interest which have attracted foreigners foreigners are now buying bonds from uh, from bank of zambia when they buy those bonds nda na macha tsha bishaisa dilanga shai senda na mashia ba UPND government no elo ba mu kongola ba shikongola azi domestic ba shikongola azi domestic wao si ba PF na ba AB galungu ba bo bali nga tabakwe tempia ba le ya fi katushinga ni kuli ba le ya ku ma Chinese imwe we mo ba ku China to pay ko 40 million dollars imwe wa na nkan to pay ko 40 million you know e fo ba le kongola but these ones they are not doing that Why because they don't want to expose themselves. They don't want to expose themselves. They don't want to be seen that they're borrowing. So instead they are floating bonds. When they float those bonds foreigners come buy those bonds. Indala mashaingira. Bilanga shaingira muchalo elo mbaba ya kongola. And as they are doing that, as they are doing that, chienda la meshileisa instead of going into the economy because bonds also help you know to put money into the economy when that money comes and it is borrowed by government what happens is that you and i will not be able to have access to money to borrow you will not have access in business you need to borrow in business you need to borrow and if there is no money to borrow your business becomes very difficult and those who have own business they understand what i'm talking about they understand the frustration of not having access to money or having access to money which is very expensive when these things are happening this is how even the cost of living becomes expensive when money there is no money in the economy to borrow and the money that is there shaba kaloba shipali kaloba shipali high interest because the government is borrowing the money what is happening is that these business people when they are accessing that money at high interest what they are doing is now to increase whatever they are selling they could be selling shirts they could be selling food they could be selling mini meal they could be selling fertilizer they could be selling seeds they could be selling medicines this things becomes expensive and you might not understand where is this coming from where is this coming from it is coming from the fact that government is borrowing from the local market and they have increased bonds uko balawa le tempia high high uh, high interest so everything becomes a challenge even the dollar is affected like that I hope mwewa mulien konka kuno wino I hope ndelo ndola file onfuika This is the best that I can do to break it down for you And the point that I'm trying to make here is that we cannot be celebrating this this debt restructuring We can't celebrate it because already what we have seen is not inspiring is not inspiring because these people Number 1 they have not been servicing the debt. Number 2 they have even increased their budget. Number 3 these people have been borrowing money. Mubun fisolo to an extent that they are now owing over 5 billion. I'm challenging wa msokotwane to come and talk about this how much have they borrowed since they came into 